All right, we're going to unwrap a UV, and we're going to use that UV uh, later to texture our head. Um, and so let's get started. We're going to use uh, the edge tool here, and you can see I've already pre-selected this. Uh, if you haven't yet, obviously, you need to uh, open up the um, self-portrait. I think it's labeled number five, or me uh, underscore two five, uh, in your um, Cinema 40 application. And so I'm going to deselect that and deselect these points, make sure everything's deselected. And so when we, before we start, we're going to use edge selection to kind of uh, mark where we want that UV to unwrap. Uh, and so we're going to use the edge tool, and I'm going to use the path selection to start this. So I'm going to go up here and say one, two, three. And I'm going to do it right up here. And I'm going to come over four, hold down my shift key. Again, I'm just clicking and dragging where I want that to happen. Hold down my shift key and rotate the head here. And kind of follow that down. Oops, there we go. And deselect this one here. So hold down the command key. All right, uh, and essentially what that does is kind of knives or draws like a little edge there that uh, tells the UV maps to split in that area there. Uh, we're also going to pen some points. So I'm going to go to my points tool here, hit spacebar to select my live selection tool. And again, you can, just like where your cuts would be, you could uh, actually kind of choose a lot of different areas and kind of test and see what works best for you. Uh, I'm going to pin these areas here uh, on the nose here. And I'm going to select out here on the mouth. And here, and then two more up here also. Um, again, you can try as many of these as you want. Uh, I've selected these and found these to work pretty well for what I need to do. Uh, all right, the last thing that I'm going to do is um, select some polygons here. And I'm going to do a, an invert selection uh, after I do this. So I'm just going to select these two polygons up here and then hit U, F on my keyboard, hold down the Shift key. And what that does is it selects uh, all the polygons that are kind of connected uh, within that. So if you see the eyes aren't selected there, that's good. We don't want those selected. And I'm going to go in inside my head here because there is a... You can see there's teeth and a tongue. And again, I don't want those selected. But I also want to deselect part of these lips here that are kind of coming into the mouth. So hit UL on your keyboard, and then scroll down here, hold down your command key, oops, so UL, make sure you've got loop selection selected, and I want to select right there, hold down your command key, and then hit UF, hold down the command key, and then collect what's behind that, All right, and just leave the rest of that connected. Awesome. So if you've done that, we're going to jump into the BP UV edit here and we're going to create a couple things because uh, obviously if you look at where it says show DMS we don't see a UV mesh and that's because we haven't created one yet. Uh, we need to create a material first so you're going to jump into your materials here create a material leave it at default and then take it and drag it and you can see I hold it over that where it says objects and it jumps automatically to that folder and again I still don't have a UV map because I haven't generated yet. Make sure that texture is selected Go to Tags, and Generate UV Coordinates. Now when I select that, to be able to see those coordinates, uh, C4D has automatically created uh, this sort of map for us. And I guess that we could utilize that to paint on, but it's not very efficient. So the poly, uh, poly UVs are stretched quite a bit. Uh, change the projection uh, to Frontal. And to do that, we're going to come to All 4 and go to the Front menu here because that's kind of where we want to start it at and just click frontal and you can also see here the eyes the mouth all that stuff's kind of been deselected with that um, next thing I'm going to do is jump over here to where it says relax UV make sure that pinpoint selection cut selected edges uh, is selected and pottery line is selected and I'm going to start with ABF here on this and click apply And now, as you can see, it's stretched out my UV map and created this really nice 
fairly clean design. Now, obviously, if I go in a little bit closer here, I have some tighter areas here that um, I can work with. But uh, if I were to go in and paint these, right, uh, it allows me to kind of see exactly where those areas would be on that head. Or if I wanted to bring, again, an image uh, and apply that to where the texture would be. Because basically, this is just a, uh, a 2B, 2D uh, map um, showing where all these polygons would be located. And so, for instance, if I put an image underneath this, which I'll do in tutorial number two, um, I can kind of stretch or modify that image so that it kind of fits um, within where those UVs would be at. So again, I could place the eyelids, the lips, and the nose of that image by skewing that image to fit kind of neatly in that area. Uh, I probably would want to come back and take some of these polygons here that are from the ears and stuff and clean them up just a little bit. But for the most part, um, Cinema 4D did a pretty darn good job of taking care of all of that. Uh, the eyes themselves, I could come back in and relax those areas if I wanted to. And to be able to select any of these, obviously if you can see, I'm trying to select these UV uh, polygons here. Uh, that's because I'm using my polygon mode tool. And these are kind of the same tools that you'd have in the standard menu. Over here are actually your UV edit tools. Now when I select that one, you can see that all those polys are selected. And again, I can edit and move those. Uh, so for instance, if I choose the move tool, I would be able to move that anywhere on the map itself. I'm gonna kind of uh, leave it the way it is. Uh, the other thing you can also do is sometimes you can hit the apply menu a number of times and it will smooth it out. Or you can also try the LSC and these are just different algorithms, I believe, for stretching that map and you know, kind of change that map or clean the maps up sometimes. Uh, depending on what you're, what it is you're trying to do with that. I've got a pretty nice little mesh there um, with that. Let's see here. I kind of skewed my ears and made things a little bit tighter here. So I'm just going to Command Z that back. Um, and what happens again if we uncheck these areas now? And click Apply to that. Ah, so it opened our eyes up a little bit more and also kind of tighten some areas there around the mouth. So you have to kind of choose which might be best uh, for you. Uh, and again, you can change some of these later uh, by cleaning them up. And if I Command Z back, you can kind of see what my original meshes were. Okay. This is a pretty nice clean mesh uh, for the most part. I might want to stretch it out a little bit later, but I think that'll work pretty good. Uh, for painting. Now I do want to move it so that it's on the map and then I could come back here actually and for instance select these and then hit UY on my keyboard to kind of select my eyeballs here and let's see what happens if I click apply to those. Hit auto re realign and you can see it's made them gigantic now so probably not something we want to Utilize. But what you could do again is if we pin the border points, see what happens with them. Okay, auto realign. Uh, so you kind of keep playing with those features until you get what what it is you're wanting. But uh, again, I could come here to the scale tool and scale those up so they're a little bit easier to texture and manipulate. Use the move tool and move them down here further on my map. <clears throat> For further editing. The inside of the mouth, I uh, probably don't have to worry about that too much. The teeth and the tongue, and again, it's something you can probably just paint. You're not going to see that uh, with a lot of detail for the most part. So if I select those areas, UI, okay, hit T on my keyboard, scale those up a little bit. Oops. And then hit. Yeah, on my keyboard to move them. Uh, I can actually now start to um, kind of align those things to an area where they might be a little bit better. UY on my keyboard to grow that selection. All right, and the tongue itself too. Um, in this case, again, that's I could just put like a paint that basically red, and it would probably be fine. Uh, for most purposes of what we're going to do. So scale that up just a little bit more. 